Hi guys, I'm Dan and welcome to a brand new video and today I have some new Takara Tomy Wow animal toys to show you guys, okay? So basically this top row over here and this one over here they are new releases for 2017, okay? Or maybe late 2016, okay? So these toys are new and I'm super excited, okay? And these two boxes below, they are actually older version of um, Takara Tomy animal toys. But I've just purchased this box over here, the, this panda box, like recently, okay? So let's get started. So the first animal we have over here is the Okapi. And the Okapi, it's um, a very elusive animal that can be found in Central Africa. Okay, so let's have a look at the figure. Okay, so each figure is individually wrapped, so they do not get scratched. And um, they come with this collector's card. Okay, one in Japanese and one in English. Okay, so let us have a look at what is written on the card. Okay, people first discovered them. In 1901, they always live alone and have strong wariness. Not too sure about that. I guess they mean they are solitary animals and they have strong awareness. So people still do not have much information about them. Yeah, they are actually very elusive animals. They can't be spot, um, spotted easily. They are actually very difficult to find, okay? So what is interesting about this animal is that, you know, it's actually more closely related to giraffes than zebra, okay? A lot of people might think, you know, they have similar stripes to zebras, but they are actually, in fact, more closely related to uh, giraffes, okay? And they have this super sonic power. They can actually, I mean, the mother Okapis can actually produce a sound which is at about 14 hertz and that only um, its calves can um, hear okay so that is super cool and um, they have very very long tongues which are able to reach their ears okay so they can actually use the tongue to clean themselves okay and um Okapis, they have a nickname, okay? They are actually nicknamed the African Unicorn because they are so difficult to find, okay? So go Google about this animal, you know, watch some videos on this really, really interesting animal, okay? So the next one, which I'm gonna show you guys will be, let me see, okay? What about this one over here? Wolf, okay? So this one looks really nice. It comes with uh, this little kid over here. It looks like an Eskimo. Okay. Wait a minute. We haven't talked about the model of this Okapi yet. So basically, you can articulate the head like this and the neck. Okay. So that is very interesting. Okay. Um, all four legs have no articulation, which is a pity. But you know, the paintwork, the details, as usual, are just top quality okay just place this over here and let's move on with the wolf okay so nice illustration at the back really really beautiful it's 1 to 1.5 meter meters in length and the tail is about 30 to 55 centimeters okay weight is about 20 to 80 kilograms okay let me just cut this open these are actually brand new I'm not um, open them yet okay so i have to use a pen knife to cut the tape so just another reminder again when you're using a pen knife please have your parents to supervise you okay so let's have a look at the collector's card okay have a look at this really really nice two figures wolves live in pairs with the rule of hierarchy they help each other on hunting and nurturing, okay? So wolves, they are very, very loyal creatures. They are very, very loyal animals. Uh, when they choose a mate, they will actually, uh, most likely they will spend the entire lifetime with the same mate, okay? So they are super loyal to their mates, okay? And wolves, they can be found all over the world at different types of subspecies, the Alaskan wolves, there are a lot of different types of wolves. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So wolves are actually really, really intelligent animal. Oops. 
So let's have look look at this beautiful beautiful um, wow. Take a look at this. Really really nice. Okay, I love the details. I love the paint. You know the size is correct. Articulation is there as well. Just that there are no articulation on the legs. Let's have a look at this little kid over here. Looks super awesome. Really nice. Okay, you can even see the paw prints. Okay. So that is actually super amazing, okay? I do not have much facts about wolves, so if you guys know, just let me know in the comments. Oh yes, there's actually one more really interesting fact about wolves, okay? So a wolf, they have each and every single wolf, they have their own unique house, house okay? So they can actually help um, their pack to recognize individual wolves, okay, just by their house alone. So that is actually super incredible, okay. So let's have a look at the next one over here, and this one over here is the brown bear. So the brown bear can be found all over the world in um, Europe, in Asia, um, in America. Okay, so basically, there are a lot of subspecies. There are the grizzly bear. There are the um, Kodiak bear, there's the Alaskan bear, a lot of different bears, okay. So brown bear is like the main name for um, all these subspecies, okay. So uh, this figure over here looks really really nice, okay. It came with a fish, <laughs> okay. So bears, they are um, like omnivorous, they eat fruits, they eat vegetables, they eat, you know, small mammals. Sorry, they, do, they don't eat vegetables, they eat like fruits. <laughs> yep. Okay. So let us have a look at this little fish over here. Okay, the brown bear is actually uh, the second largest um, terrestrial carnivorous animal. Um, the other one is the polar bear, okay. It's cousin. Okay, so let's fit this fish into its mouth like that, okay. I think that would look super, super cool. How do I fit this? Can't seem to fit it. <laughs> okay, all right, done. So let's have a look at this beautiful figure, okay? You can actually pose the head like this. Really nice. But somehow the new figures have no articulation on the limbs, okay? So that is actually something new all the old toys have articulation on the legs but the new series seems like they do not have okay really nice okay so the brown bear they are really really huge animals and this one over here is um, biting um, a fish I guess this is a salmon fish because brown bears they love salmon fish okay So let's have a look at the next animal. Hmm, how about before that? Sorry, I forgot to show you guys the card. Okay, so these cards they have really interesting effects. So let's have a look at them. Even they look very burresque, hmm, but actually they mainly eat plant as food. Okay, so the English right over here, it's really funny okay i think they mean although they look very um berserk i'm not too sure what they're trying to say here but actually they eat mainly plants okay yep so they eat stem root berry of fruit insect deer salmon etc okay so the habitat north of america north of you you asia there are four types of sub subspecies, okay. Hokkaido brown bear, yeah. Izu brown bear lives in Hokkaido. There are actually more than four types of subspecies, to be honest with you, okay. So let's move on with the next one, okay. So the next one over here is the flamingo, okay. So I'm gonna cut it open with the pen knife again. Okay. 
Once again, beautiful illustration at the back of the box. Flamingo. Wow, this looks cool. Okay, let's have a look at the car, okay? So the flamingo, the height is about 1.4 uh, meters tall. They eat plankton, yep. If they do not fit on plankton, the color will actually fade away, okay? So they have, they have to constantly fit on plankton to keep um, this nice, nice uh, pinkish color, okay? Flamingos live in the lakes and reservoirs and sea coast in groups. They use dirt to make their nest, okay? They are different with greater flamingo, okay? Wow, this actually came with this protective cardboard. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it open. I guess it is because the legs are actually pretty thin. So they have to use this cardboard to actually protect it. Okay. Let's have a look at the other one. Are these two similar? Identical? I'm not too sure. Let's cut this open and have a closer look, okay? Looks like these two flamingos, they have different um, pose, so these are cool, okay? I do not have much facts about flamingo, but you know, um, how they feed is that they usually use their feet to stir up the mud and then they use their beak to scoop up, you know, um, a beak of water and um, mud and then they will filter the food from um, the mouth, okay? So they are very cool animals too. So the next one, let's have a look at this one over here. Okay, this one over here, it's a giraffe. Giraffes, you know, they're very, very beautiful animals, I would say. And, um, okay, let me just open this box up right now. This box is actually pasted with um, a lot of stickers. Let me see if I can just peel off the sticker and show you guys what's behind, okay? All right, it's very difficult to, to peel this off, so I'm not gonna try, okay? I might destroy the box. So we have a giraffe over here, and this one looks like a baby giraffe. I'm not too sure, because it looks kind of short. Okay, let's have a look at the collector's card, okay? They are the tallest um, land animal. They live in two to ten giraffes group. I'm not too sure what that means. I, I guess you know they live in group groups of two to ten giraffes. They can live longer than twenty years. Okay, and the height is about three, um, three point eight to four point seven meters. Um, and the height of the shoulder two point five. 3.7 meters okay pretty cool let's have a look at um, the figure okay and once again they are actually using this cardboard to protect the legs okay so this articulation on the neck okay this giraffe over here is actually pretty different to the other one which I have from Takara told me and this one looks like more like a baby giraffe. Okay, so the giraffes, you know, one is interesting fact about the giraffes are, is that they actually sleep about two hours a day. Okay, but they can sleep, you know, while standing. So that is pretty cool. Okay, and there's one more really interesting fact about you know giraffes. Can you see these two little uh, knobs over here? They are known as the Aussie cones. Okay. So both female and male giraffes, they have RC cones, but the female ones are actually smaller and they are uh, like turfed, a turf of hair on each RC cone, okay? So for you guys to spot whether a giraffe is a male or female, just look at the RC cones, okay? They are supposed to be smaller and they're supposed to have a turf of hair on top of each cone okay which the male one does not have okay the male Aussie cones are bald okay yep so that's all I have to say for giraffes okay they're actually pretty 
um, I mean the population of the giraffes is declining okay so let's have a look at the next animal and this one over here is actually an Indian rhinoceros okay it's not a normal rhinoceros but this is an Indian rhinoceros okay Indian rhinoceros you know the, this horn over here they can grow up to a length of 60 centimeters okay which is about a meter okay that is pretty pretty mind-blowing I would say so let's have a look at this beautiful figure okay Indian rhinoceros let's have a look at the cut as well they live in the wetlands full of grasses <laughs> okay and like bathing okay yep they like to cool themselves you know by you know submerging themselves in water in lakes and stuff okay they they are super heavy okay they can actually weigh up to like 2000 kilograms okay in weight okay super super heavy animals okay you can actually rotate the head Posable head. That's all. Okay, there's no more articulation. So that is pretty, pretty different to um, all the past Takara Tomi toys. Okay, I really love this figure. Okay, this Indian rhino looks really, really tough. Okay, the next one it's um a pony. But to be honest with you, I'm not too sure whether this is a 2017 um. Um, figure I'm not too sure but I guess this one should be um, a 2016 one okay using a pen knife to remove the tape from the side okay if you're using it please 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 be careful okay let's have a look at this pony so a pony is basically a small horse okay they are thicker main thicker mane than a horse and thicker tail than a horse okay and this set comes with a fence which is really nice okay it's like um, you can actually build a farm so if you buy this window series okay with this light green at the side which is like um like the farm animals the pets each box comes with a fan so if you collect enough you can actually form um, a very nice enclosure okay pony okay pound for pound they are actually stronger than a horse okay so that's another interesting fact for you guys okay so this pony over here looks really really cute <laughs> take a look at those beautiful eyes and this beautiful mane okay there's articulation on the neck only okay no articulation on the legs or the tail yep just gonna place it right over here okay and the next one i'm gonna show you this one over here okay this panda train panda train okay i hope we have enough time to actually uh, have a look at the alligator train as well okay so there, let us just open this box together i'm pretty excited okay so basically this set you know there are a set of three different trains you have the elephant one you have the panda and you have the alligator okay you can actually f uh, open them and just form into a super long choo-choo train okay uh, come on wow this is tough okay just gonna place it behind so this box actually comes with an exclusive figure okay which i'm super excited okay this figure cannot be purchased individually okay where is it okay it's actually inside here right over here so let us open this up right now So, oops, <laughs> it's 
actually um, split into two different carriages. Okay, so we have got the panda out from uh, the train, the box, okay? So let's have a look at this exclusive figure, okay? This panda cannot be purchased individually and this can only be found in this train set, okay? So this is pretty cool. I have two boxes of pandas, okay, from Takara told me, but this one is super awesome. Because the other two pandas, they do not have um, this bamboo over here. And the articulation on the arms looks really cool. Okay, you can actually rotate it like that, okay. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Okay, you can also pose the head like this. Yeah, this is the kind of articulation which I feel, you know, it's much better than uh, the rest But I guess it's better looking Okay, I mean, if you take a look at this There's actually like a ball, a ball joint So this one do not have the ball joint, so it actually looks better Okay, but kids might love this more because, you know, you have more um, free play for you to um, articulate um, the arms, okay? So the pandas, okay, they are like a national treasure of um, China, okay? Let me just rearrange these animals, okay? And let's have a look, oops, oops. This little kid can't really stand very well, okay? So let's have a look at the train, okay? So you have this one over here and um, here, so you can just snap it right in interesting okay let me just adjust the camera for you guys to have a better look okay so you have a train or a panda train so as you move it alone along you can see the head is moving okay it's actually pretty cool <laughs> pretty cute i would say you see the head is actually moving as the wheel turn okay so you can actually just place different animals here okay next I'm gonna open um, the alligator um, set okay or maybe the crocodile I'm not too sure okay so this set I'm gonna open up for you guys to have a look too and then we can actually join the train together see see take a look at this this exclusive alligator over here looks really really beautiful okay Alligator or crocodile, you can't really tell from the figure, okay? So this is a train over here, you can actually connect it to the panda train, okay? Let me just get this uh, connection out. So you can just lift it out like that and then attach it to um, the other train, okay? Come on all right okay so as you guys can see we have our um, a train an alligator train pulling along a panda train okay yep and lastly let's have a look at this one over here do you guys think this is an alligator or a crocodile okay I'm thinking this is a croc okay because of its color okay and um the snout looks pretty narrow so this one might be a, a crocodile i'm not too sure but you guys you know let me know your answer your judgment okay so let's have a recap before we end the video okay so basically today you know my favorite animal here hmm the figures are just really awesome. I think Takara told me they have really stepped up the game for the 2017 uh, models. As you guys can see, they, the coloring, the stuff, the paint job, the articulation, I mean, not, not the articulation, the details, they are just amazing, okay? So the first one we, you know, we took a look at is the Okapi, okay? This really, really elusive animal. 
And then we had a look at um, the wolf as well, the giraffes, the flamingos, the panda, the Indian rhino over here. Okay, this beautiful, beautiful beast. Okay, um, so we have the Indian rhino, and of course we have the panda bear. And this Eskimo kid is um, we're standing right behind. Let's have a look and yeah. Yep, so that's all for today's video. I hope that you guys really enjoy it. For me, I really love making these videos for you guys. Okay, whoops, we have a pony, okay? We left at a pony, sorry about that, okay? So, yep, if you guys like this video, just give it a thumbs up, you know, share it, leave me a comment. You guys know I read every single comment and I'll try my best to reply to each and every one of you. But recently, the comments have been coming in really, really fast and I'm furious. So, you know, I might take a few days, you know, to reply to your comments, okay? So, before I end the video, why not check out these four videos over here, okay? I think that you guys, you know, will enjoy it. I actually handpicked them for you guys, okay? So, I'll see you really, really soon. I, I think tomorrow will be a good day to see you guys for the next video, okay? So, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Goodbye.